Now the West Indies' wait for a first series victory in New Zealand since 1995 has been extended after they were crushed by an innings and 134 runs just before lunch on day four of the first test in Hamilton to go down 1-0 in their two-match series. Jamaican Jermaine Blackwood scored his second test century 104, but the Windies were bundled out for 247 in their second innings after they were dismissed for 138 in their first innings. That was in reply to New Zealand's 519 for seven declared. Now on day three, the West Indies lost 15 wickets to hand the ascendancy to the home team. Resuming their first innings on 49 without loss, the Caribbean team slumped to 79 for five before folding to 138 in 63.6 overs in reply to New Zealand's 519 for seven declared. John Campbell added four to his overnight score to top score with 26, while captain Jason Holder was left unbeaten on 25. Blackwood, 23, and Craig Brathwaite, 21, were the only other batsmen to get into double figures. Tim Southey bagged four for 35, while there were two wickets each for Kyle Jamieson and Neil Wagner. The second test bowls off Thursday evening Jamaica time at the Basin Reserve in Wellington. Meanwhile, the West Indies A were also on the losing end as they were dropped by an innings and 143 runs by New Zealand A at the Bay Oval a short while ago in their four-day match. The touring team resuming their fourth and a final day or the fourth and a final day on 57 for three and trailing the home team's first inning score of 574 by 252 runs were bowled out for 109. Nicholas Puran, 35, made most runs, while Brandon King contributed 22. Rothman Powell, who led the team, made a duck, while Fabian Allen got five. Scott Kugeline, 3 for 22, did most damage for the New Zealand A team. The second four-day match begins on Thursday.